Now, whether you should choose IIT, whether you should choose NIT, sir, I'm getting uh, IIT Madras Mechanical or I'm getting NIT Theology Computer Science, which, what to choose and why? So today we are going to look into that. So uh, now the J advanced marks are out. With that, we can roughly see what are the ranks going to, going to come. So the 2nd of uh, June is the result declaration date. On 3rd, Joseph Constant will start. Now, uh, it's very important to pick the right course and right college. Because this is a decision which you will have to carry for your entire life. You cannot change the college where you studied. You cannot change the course what you studied. No matter how much you want. So in today's video, we are going to see how to pick a college or how to pick a branch. Because especially for those of you who are getting a rank, let's say from 2000 to 20,000, you will have a lot of options, what to pick, what not to pick. In fact, I say this is the most confusing zone because there are so many options, so many future possibilities. So let's dive into how to pick the course for you. So uh, it's a simple three golden rules that you need to follow. Number one is your future interest. Second is career option and third is the college prestige. So we'll talk about all of that one by one that what is future interest, how you can find it out. Because uh, many students will come and say that, sir, I have no interest, how to find it out. So we are going to talk about how to look into that, how you can assess whether this thing will suit you or not. And the reason it is the most important criteria about future interest is because, believe me, if you're not interested in it, you will not achieve long-term success. So you need to align with that idea. Yes, this is what I like, this is what I love. This is what I want to pursue my career in. Now that is the reason uh, I say that future interest of, is of utmost importance. In fact, more important than job opportunities because if I talk about after eight years or 10 years down the lane, you can achieve success in any field, no matter what. Yes, at the starting point, few courses will have an advantage in terms of job opportunities, monetary remunerations. But after 8-10 years, it doesn't matter. It's purely a matter of your skill and dedication, which will take you to the top. Because after 8 or 10 years of experience, you are not doing the entry-level jobs. So think about it. You graduate at the age of 22. Your first 8 years is, that means age of 30. Even if you work for 30 more years, so think about it. Either you have the 30 year of success or this first 8 year of good, high-paying job. 30 years is a bigger lifetime. So that's why future interest is very important. Now, how to identify that? <clears throat> so that uh, we, we have taught many times, passion drive excellence. Without that, it will not come. Without passion, you will not be able to find out or you will not be able to do your best. So now, uh, for that, what you need to do is, uh, I will suggest you that go through the curriculum. For example, let's say you say that, okay, I like mechanical, I like electrical. Believe me, what you have learned in 12th, it have no relation with that. It's not like if you have learned uh, mechanics in 11th physics, you'll do the same thing in mechanical engineering. No. So what I'll suggest you, you can just type uh, the college name, let's say IIT Madras Mechanical Engineering or IIT Madras Electrical Engineering. Go through the courses. Like you will see the entire curriculum, like semester wise. So semester means six or basically uh, you'll have a total of eight semester in BTEC, four year, eight semester. For dual degree course, five year, 10 semesters. So you'll see that uh, first year will be like common courses. You'll have course on uh, maths, physics, chemistry, or basic uh, computer programming. So all of that. From the second and third year, it will be your specialization department courses will be more. So if you're doing electrical, there'll be more electrical courses or more uh, mechanical courses. You'll also see in that you'll have option of electives. So elective determines a specialization. So there'll be two types of course, core courses and electives. So if I'm a electrical engineering department student, I might have to take a total of, let's say eight core courses that is fixed. I, anyone have to do as a bachelor student of this department, but remaining six courses will be elective. So I can pick out among all the various courses the department is offering. And based on that, I pick up a specialization. <coughs> so uh, you'll see that starting from your second year, there'll be electives. So second year, third year will be balance of the your uh, core courses and elective. Fourth year will be more of electives and your project. So projects at this top college are very important. You cannot cheat, you cannot get your way through that. Unlike what you do in maybe school time, it have to be a genuine new project. Now, uh, so the idea is you go through the curriculum and try to see whether it sinks in with you. Now, when you go through the curriculum, in that they'll only mention the name. Let's say in mechanics, they'll mention uh, mechanical engineering, the fluid dynamics. You do not know that. So copy fluid dynamics, search in the Google. See what will happen in that. So you will see that a lot of engineering will revolve around maths. 
So even if I talk about fluid dynamics or if I talk about uh, signal processing, a lot of that will go around mass. So mass will be an important component. So understand that. Understand that. Go through in detail. Do not just go by a basic whatever exposure you have in 11, 12 because it's not going to match. So see the courses. Uh, see whether it matches your interest or not. Talk. Look into into more detail of that. That gives you a better clarity. So do that for all the possibility possible branches you are going to get, be it uh, mechanical, electrical, computer science. So check for all of that. So that is the number one thing because of which you should pick up a course, your future interest. Second is uh, about job opportunities. Now what happens is even when you go through all this curriculum, many of you might find, okay, this is something you can align with or something you might like. But some of you might still be confused. Do not worry, it's okay. It's very okay that if you are still confused about it. So it's highly possible that uh, you will be confused. Acknowledge that you are confused about it. And uh, then you can shift your focus. If you're not able to find out anything specific interesting, shift your focus towards the career opportunities. So number one, future interest. Second is career opportunities. You see what, are the, what courses have better job markets, uh, what courses have more informed and make informed choices. So uh, if I talk about in terms of what all courses offer better job opportunities. So undoubtedly it is computer science. Computer science stands at the top with the highest job opportunities. After computer science, there is uh, electronics. So electronics can be electronics only or electronics and electrical communication or electronics and communication. So that is second highest in demand. Electrical engineering third, then mechanical, then civil. So this is like a overall, you can say, demand out there for the job market. That is why you'll see opening and closing rank also follows the same pattern. It also follows the same pattern. I'll also take a few examples. I'll take an example or one or two case study at the end for you to understand how you can evaluate it better. So, and the last is the prestige of college. Because it matters a lot from which college you belong to. Like if I am from IIT, uh, Delhi, IIT, Bombay, it will give me a very good platform. It will give me a very awesome alumni network. It will give me uh, like ways to connect to people, ways to connect to uh, your seniors and understand and uh, take the help of that. Plus a good college tag also assures that, okay, yes, you are someone who's hardworking and who can achieve if put right effort. So uh, definitely there's a lot of, importance of the prestige of college and the most important is that especially in top colleges like IITs a lot of non-core company comes now what is non-core company so as you are studying engineering but it might be possible that companies like Goldman Sachs JP Morgan which are into banking or investment bankings are there or you can go to like company like Tower Research which are high uh, high frequency trading companies or other investment companies like Carlyle Group and so on so there are many other options you get at these top colleges so if I talk about IITs, a big percentage of the student goes for this non-core job because they are very high paying and they are very fun. And especially these are the courses which actually companies also go to IIM to pick from. So they'll pick from IIM Ahmedabad, ISB uh, Hyderabad, Indian School of Business, IIM Bangalore. So all these companies also go to those IIMs. So they also come to IITs. Now, I'll say that IITs, especially old IITs, maximum non-core company will come. Then it will be old IITs, then new IITs like that. So we'll also take a case study to understand it better. So that is why prestige of college is also very, very important. Let us take an example. So uh, I had a student. Now uh, his J mains rank, like it has been, I think, three, four years. His J mains rank was uh, in open category. J mains rank was uh, 2,500. And uh, his J advanced rank was 3,000. Now the student was confused. He told me that, sir, I have many options. I can take, let's say, uh, because he was interested in physics. So he told that uh, engineering physics, that is one option he have got. Or uh, like whether he should take NIT theory computer science. So being from Tamil Nadu with the home state quota, you can easily get for that rank NIT theory computer science very easily, in fact. So should I take that? Or uh, should I take mechanical or some other courses in old IITs? So then I asked him, okay, follow this same funda. That is the fund of number one priority should be future interest. So let us see if you are confused between okay, I'm getting a uh, mechanical in IIT Madras or uh, engineering design, or uh, let's say you are getting an IIT computer science, what to pick. So the idea is that first check for your 
future interest if you find that okay nothing is in, sounds interesting or you are not able to identify that right uh, in that case you go for next job opportunities so if you are able to find interest just go with that go with that but do not go for the superficial reason like for example your parents asked you so you do not want to do that or someone randomly told you no do it well research if you say that you are interested in that domain why you should be able to answer people why if you are not able to answer why you are not interested you just have some prejudice so uh, if you are able to find good if you are not able to find then look for job opportunities so i told that student of mine that if you are not able to find the interest so directly go for nit tech computer science because nit tech computer science will give you more job opportunities if you compare with maybe uh, let us say mechanical engineering at iit madras now i'm not saying that iit madras mechanical engineering is bad it's very good but the thing is you pick up if you like mechanical engineering if you do not like mechanical engineering what's the point of going there but let us say if you are also not worried about certain job opportunities because computer science is a bigger job opportunity it's like easy to get jobs in big companies like amazon microsoft google uh, so you can you can also do that now the last possibility is that neither you are able to find interest nor you are able to or nor you are if that much worried about that uh, initial gains because as i've told future interest matters a lot so let's say you are confused that i want to find interest for me but i'm not able to find right now but i want to find the interest i am not worried about my job i want to find an interest and pursue that in long run in that case in that case my suggestion is go for iits especially old iits no matter which course why because when you go to these iits right you'll see a lot of lot of big domain or like a lot of information coming to you you will suddenly realize okay there are companies working in these domains which i never even thought of there are company working in this domain which you might find interesting so if you are not able to find a future interest right now neither you are worried about job opportunities immediate after graduation because eight and down the line it all about your love your passion in the domain so if you are looking for that love and passion better go for old iits in that case so that you'll see a lot of opportunities even if let's say you get a naval engineering like but you'll have option to maybe do cfa or maybe do more courses maybe going to uh, share market maybe going to investment banking so there are a lot more options that will be open for you at old iits now nits also offer all of that but it will be little bit less compared to the old iits so in that so that should be how you should be picking up a course so i i hope that that clears the confusion for many of the parents and students so in fact this is a activity that i humbly request all the parents to do along with your child because you have you also have ex exposure for a bigger world how world works so any help or any if you do it together you'll have better ideas so uh, as i've told you uh, number one priority is if you have a clear passion the best then you can just pick up the field of interest if there is no clarity then pick something with high opportunities if you are looking that no i i want to see long term success immediate uh, monetary gain you are not looking for if you're still unsure about that then go for the best college best college you can get for that rank preferably old iits or old nits or new iits like that the final advice is take take some time to research do not rush it through start now in fact we are also making this video before the j advanced results so that you start now if you are aware you have more time you will make better choices better decisions so start now start researching uh, research thoroughly what are the curriculum what you're going to learn what and make your own choices because at the end of the day the student have to live that entire life so ensure that it's a very wise decision you take and something you feel proud of for your entire lifetime and if you still unsure uh, we are there to help you out so you can uh, comment below and you can ask us any question we'll reply you back uh, if you give us the more detail the more better answer we can give you because as i've told you there have to we have to see multiple parameters so two student who are getting almost similar rank they might have different choices or uh, different inclinations so their answer will be different in that case but we'll just try to help you our best so you can uh, put up your questions at the comment below also in the description uh, you'll see a google form if you fill the google form it will give you details about uh, opening and closing ranks of uh, various courses as well as the the average placements now the placement statistics is what we have got on the internet it's you can say 90% accurate but uh, as few of the information is not actually given officially by the Uh, by the colleges so it's like around 90 to 95% uh, 
like proper pakka so you can just also go through that to get a better idea so that's all from our side i see you guys next in another video so thank you all and all the best